In 2024, a groundbreaking discovery was made on a Somerset beach, the largest marine reptile fossil ever found, Ichthyotitan sevenensis, measuring 82 feet. This giant lizard fish of the seven dates back to the Triassic period. Its discovery offers invaluable insights into ancient marine life. The discovery of dethroned the previous record holder for the largest marine reptile. This earlier champion, unearthed in Canada, held the title for decades with its impressive length of 69 feet. While still a giant in its own right, now finds itself dwarfed by its newly discovered relative. The differences between these two colossal creatures extend beyond their size. Is believed to have been a more robust and powerful predator, with a larger head and jaws designed for tackling formidable prey. Its skeletal structure suggests a more agile and streamlined body shape, hinting at a creature perfectly adapted for life in the open ocean. The existence of these two behemoths, along with other large marine reptiles from the Triassic period, raises intriguing questions about the ecological pressures that drove the evolution of such immense size. The abundance of prey in the prehistoric seas, coupled with a lack of significant competition, may have provided the ideal conditions for these creatures to thrive and reach such gargantuan proportions. While the discovery of captivated the world with its sheer scale, the depths of our oceans continue to yield equally fascinating, albeit smaller, wonders. One such marvel is a newly discovered species of nudibranch or sea slug found in the inky blackness of the midnight zone. This unique creature, identified through a combination of over 150 sightings and meticulous genetic analysis spanning two decades, inhabits the depths between 3,300 and 13,100 feet below the ocean surface. This region, shrouded in perpetual darkness and subject to immense pressure, presents a unique set of challenges and opportunities for life to adapt and thrive, exhibits a remarkable adaptation for hunting in this extreme environment. Its translucent body, almost invisible in the dim light of the deep sea, allows it to stalk prey undetected. Adding to its mystique, this extraordinary creature possesses a hood-like structure that it uses to ensnare its prey. Section 4. Unveiling the Mysteries of the Deep The discovery of underscores the vastness of our oceans and the remarkable diversity of life that remains to be discovered. The Midnight Zone, once thought to be a barren wasteland, is now known to be teeming with bizarre and fascinating creatures, each uniquely adapted to survive in this extreme environment. Both, and those separated by millions of years and vastly different environments, serve as powerful reminders of the boundless wonders that our planet holds. These discoveries highlight the importance of continued exploration and research, particularly in the face of mounting threats to our oceans. The deep sea, in particular, remains largely unexplored, a vast and mysterious realm teeming with unknown life forms and ecological processes yet to be understood. As we delve deeper into these uncharted waters, we can expect to uncover even more astonishing creatures and gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of life on Earth. Section 5. The Real Sea Monsters A shifting perspective. The notion of sea monsters has long captivated the human imagination, often depicted as fearsome creatures lurking in the depths, waiting to drag unsuspecting sailors to their doom. However, a thought-provoking exhibit at the Harvard Museum of Natural History challenges this traditional view, urging us to reconsider our perception of these creatures and our impact on their world. The sea monsters, Wonders of Nature and Imagination exhibit, which opened in June 2024, explores the historical and cultural fascination with sea monsters, tracing their portrayal in mythology, literature and art. However, the exhibit goes beyond mere fascination, drawing a stark connection between the health of our oceans and the creatures that inhabit them. The exhibit argues that the true sea monsters are not the creatures themselves, but rather the human-induced threats that jeopardize their existence. Climate change, pollution and overfishing are pushing many marine species to the brink, disrupting delicate ecosystems and threatening the biodiversity of our oceans. Through interactive displays and thought-provoking presentations, the exhibit implores visitors to recognize the urgent need for conservation and responsible stewardship of our planet's most precious resource. Don't forget to like, subscribe 
and hit that bell icon for more animated adventures. Cheers!